Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, B Loves to Cook. Today we're going to be making stuffed bacon jalapeno cheeseburgers. So let's get started. Okay guys, here are the ingredients needed to make this recipe happen. You're going to need, of course, hamburger meat. And I seasoned it with this mesquite um, marinade. You can do that, it's optional. Um, I also put a little pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder on it as well. We're going to use cheddar cheese. Jalapenos, we're going to have um, mozzarella cheese, and we're going to have some bacon. And you guys, too, I'm going to use some sandwich thins for my buns. If you're a person that doesn't like sandwich thins and you really want a lot of bread, then you can get, of course, you can buy the uh, thicker bread. I also have a head of lettuce for those of you that are keto, that, are, that is on a keto diet or a keto way of living. Um, you can use a head of lettuce and use the lettuce as your bun, so it's optional. So I'm going to show you guys what I do in order to stuff these um, burgers. So what I do is, I make sure that I season both sides the correct way. And you see that I got both, I got it in two lines, because I'm going to double these hamburger patties. So what I do is, I'm going to do two cheddar, cheddar cheese ones, and then I'm going to do two mozzarella cheese. So I put the cheese right in the middle, drop it like that, then I take some bacon, put it there too, and you know guys, you everything I tell you I say is optional, you don't have to do this, this is just something I do, and I just told, I told you guys I am not a chef, it's just something that's yummy in our family. Then I'm going to take some jalapeno peppers, optional as well. You don't have to use them, but just a few. I think I'm going to go in with some more cheese because I'm a cheese lover. I like the gooey, ooey, gooey stuff. So, you see that cheese. And then you take your burger and you kind of place it on top of that. And you have to kind of really make sure these the ends of this burger is mended together very well so that the cheese would not seep out so this is going to be a big burger but what you guys we're gonna cook it on like medium low like kind of a medium low heat not high heat but we're going to take our time cooking it because we want to make sure the cheese is all melted and that nothing seeps out. I like to make sure. And you know guys, you can have other toppings on this. You can have um, tomatoes. You can have a slice of onion on there if you want to make it bigger and larger. But... These are really yummy, you know. It's just like when you bite into it, it's just a nice surprise in your mouth, you know. So, very easy to make. Very easy to make. Very yummy. And you guys, you can go experiment with it. Maybe you want to add a little mushroom to it. Dices of mushroom or peppers or bell peppers or onions or whatever you want to stuff this with. Hey, do it. Be creative. Have your way, you know. It doesn't matter. So, this is how it should look, you guys. So, it looks like a really thick burger, but you know it's stuffed with all the, the, um, the toppings and everything. So, we're going to let it go like this, and then I'm going to finish doing the other three burgers, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, what I'm doing now is taking my spatula. I have stuffed all the patties with the stuffing in it, and what I'm doing is taking my spatula, and I'm making sure that the the um meat is mended together really well so none of the stuffing will fall out the patties so if you just do this and just go around in a circle to make sure everything is mended pretty good you should be fine also you guys i put my stove on like a low setting maybe a number three if you don't have numbers on your stove i would suggest you put it on medium low or something like that or you can do it the way you want because you know some people like there's medium rare you know well done so i guess it depends on how you like your burger but 
I would think that I would say that you put it on there. I mean, let it cook for maybe anywhere between six to eight minutes on each side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a lid over mine so that the cheese make sure that everything you know gets done and the cheese gets gets melted. And you guys, I know you're gonna have if you're doing different cheeses. Please be sure to pair the cheese, the uh, burgers in the uh, like in the line, so you would know this is the cheddar cheese, this is the mozzarella cheese. Depending on um, if you have you know orders or people saying that they want mozzarella cheese or they want cheddar cheese, so you would know the difference between the burger. And for all you bacon lovers, like I said, you can add more bacon to it at the end, add more cheese to it at the end. It doesn't matter. So, I'm going to let this cook. And I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'm going to let it cook for like, I'm going to check on it again after six minutes. And, I'll be back. Okay guys, this is how it's looking right now. I'm turning them over. And, what I did is kind of turn the heat up a little bit more. I turned it up on number five. So, you will see that change. And I'm going to flip these over and have them over for about maybe another six minutes. And then I'm going to put the top on the lids on them to make sure. Whatever you do, please don't press down on the burger because if you press down on the burger, you can release all the juices and you don't want to do that. You want it to be very tender when you do bite into it but you also want it to be done so i suggest do not take your spatula and just press down on it to release the juice because you don't want a, a dry burger so i'm gonna let this cook actually i think i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer but i'm gonna just put it down a little bit and i'm gonna put my lid back on and i'll be back Okay, guys, this is how the burgers are looking. What I did is add some more cheese on the top of the burgers, um, some mozzarella and some cheddar cheese. Um, and now I'm going to put it on a bun, and then we'll be ready for a taste. Okay, guys, this is what I'm doing. I'm putting, I'm making my son his burger, but you see, you know, guys, you know, notice I had the um, sandwich thins, and I'm adding um, some sweet pickles on it. Um, this is not for people that are on a keto-friendly um, way of lit, um, eating, but this is for people that you know just eat normal, normally or whatever you want to call it, unketoly. I don't know. So, but anyways, so what I'm doing is adding tomatoes. I don't think you will add. I probably add one more tomato. Cause that's all he wants: is tomatoes and pickles on his. And then I'm gonna add this bun to it. Ooh, that's gonna be a big burger. Of course, if you had a bigger bun, it would be better. But I don't like a lot of bread, and he doesn't either. So. This would be fine for us. Um, do you want me to cut it in half, Darius? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to cut this in half. Let you guys see it. All the juice is coming out now. I'll see me do it backwards, too. <laughs> Excuse my mess, you guys. I just was, you know, I've been tired. And at this point, it is what it is. You guys see my mess. But I'm going to clean it up after we're done. So, this is how it's looking. This is the way the burger should look. You see all the cheeses and stuff? And the jalapenos. So, I'm going to let him go in for a taste. Okay guys, I'm going in for a bite. This is the biggest burger I've ever had. Oh my god, it's dripping. Mm. Tastes like it was barbecued from the Mesquite, at Mesquite Grill. Yeah, it's really good. 
So you like it? Can you give a thumbs up? Thumbs up for me. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Okay, you guys. And this is my cameraman too, my son. So he's been doing a very awesome job. So I want to give him, give him a shout out. And he's still going in for his burger. So you guys, you know it's good. So you guys, you have to really try this burger. I know I'm talking from behind the camera, but you guys can hear me. So what I'm going to do is let him finish this half and I'll be little yeah you guys said it. I said it I'll be back okay guys what I'm doing I told you I'll be back but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this keto friendly um burger this is one I'm making for my husband so and I'm just putting a little bit of Mar uh, miracle whip on it because I'm gonna shave a little bit of it off because he doesn't like a lot of carbs so I'm going to just do a little bit like that. He doesn't want tomatoes on his, but I guess that's optional if you guys want it. And what I'm going to do is kind of, I'm going to shave a little bit of this lettuce off. But, I'm going to shave a little bit off right here. And I think he, he likes a little, you actually guys, I'm going to add a little bit more sprinkles of bacon on his. Because he likes a lot of meat like that so and there you have it so it's still good and you know the burger still looks um I mean it's edible it's good you put lettuce on a burger so for all you keto people this is the bomb I'm telling you it's the bomb you guys if you like what you saw today I want you to like comment and subscribe and share, share, share this video. Tell anyone and everyone about what you saw today. And I'll be back on Thursday with another cooking tutorial. So you guys, you take it easy. Peace.